Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you the latest version of the MyLinuxWorkDotFiles for Hyperland, the version 2.9.6.5. The new version comes with a new SDDM theme. The support of SWWW for wallpaper transition effects. You can toggle the Network Manager applet directly from Waybar and it's chipped with a new installation options script. This new script allows you to install new packages directly and activate it into your My Linux Work Hyperland installation. In the last section of the video, I will show you how you can install the My Linux Work dot files on a minimal Arch system. And with that, let's jump in. And I'm now in SDDM with the new theme Sequoia and I can log in. And here we are in the my Linux for work dot files. You see here the new configuration script for install installation options. I can install now some options, for example, XDG desktop portal to get dark theme on the GTK4 apps. Then shell, I will switch to CSH. Some plugins will be installed. I will cancel that script for now. And I will change the screen resolution for the next boot. So I click here on open sidebar to the settings app. On system, I scroll down and change the monitor variation from default to 1920 to 1080. So next time when I boot up, I should have the correct screen resolution. In your case, it will switch immediately, but in a virtual machine, I need to restart. And this is what I want to do now. I will click here on reboot. I can log in again. And now I have the correct screen resolution enabled and Hyperland up and running with the advanced my Linux for work dot files. You have here Nautilus already in dark mode in the dark theme, Firefox, and we can also change the wallpaper to this wallpaper, for example. I can click on exit and I can also set this new wallpaper as a wallpaper for SDDM. I go here to the welcome app, settings, appearance, set wallpaper for SDDM. I can also preview the result with yes. Yeah, when I move this away, you see here, this is at SDDM in the preview mode. With super key Q, I cancel it. And I have to log out again to see the final results. Let's exit. Yeah, and you see here, SDDM with the new wallpaper. To access the installation options, at any time, open the welcome app and click here on installation options. And now you are here again in the options dialog. Because what I also want to change now is the file manager. I will change it to Yazi. It's a terminal based file manager. Already done. I can't see exit the options dialog with cancel. And when I now click here on that icon, I have Yazi installed. Waypaper also supports wallpaper effects means you can switch from hyperpaper to SWWW. And this is what we want to do now. I click here on exit. I open a terminal with super return. You see here I'm on kitty and CSH shell and I install SWW with sudo pacman hyphen s SWWW. -S 
already done. I can close it, go back to Waypaper, and now I can select SWWW. And when I now switch to another wallpaper, you see that the wallpaper effect is enabled. Let's use this for now. You can enable with right click on the network module, the network manager applet. Yeah, and then you have direct access to the available connection, also VPN connections, wireless connections is here. And with right click again, you hide it again. Then of course you have access to waiver themes for example, the light theme, and the light theme takes the colors from the wallpaper. And let's change the wallpaper again to see the effect. Yeah, now you see it. So everything is working fine. And you see that Hyperland also works very well in a QEMU KVM virtual machine. Um, a very good alternative for you to test Hyperland to test the MyLinux 4 work dot files if you have this virtualization software installed on your system. We can also now install the Pywall Fox extension. Let's click here on installation options and install Pywall Fox. Yes, I want to install Python Pywall Fox. Okay, I can select cancel and open Firefox. I can search for the extension by all Fox. Here is PyWallFox and I add it to PyWallFox and it's added. When I open here the extension, I can click here on Pyball Fox and I can fetch the Pyball colors. Yeah, and now you see Firefox is using the colors from the wallpaper. And with the Python Pyball Fox application that I have just installed, it changed on the fly. So when I change the wallpaper with super key shift W, I can do this randomly you see that also the colors of Firefox have changed. Again, super key shift W. And again, the colors of Firefox have changed and are now aligned with the terminal and the rest of your system. And if you want to have this nice start screen on Firefox, you can install the extension MTAP. Mm -hmm. It's installed. I click here on add and now I have mtap. So when I click here on plus, you see here already that new start screen. And I can also, for example, select another wallpaper, the background image, save. And when I now open a new tab, you see that that image is selected. So let's close Firefox and open Firefox again with super key B. And you see that everything is working fine. I can also change the greeting. Control S to save. When I open a new tab, you see here, good morning, Stefan. Very nice. First of all, we need to install an AUR helper to get access to the Arch user repository. To do this, we need to install another package. It's git, sudo pacman hyphen s git. 
Done. Let's clear the terminal again. And now we can download yay, yay the AUR helper with git clone https aur dot archlinux dot org slash yay dot git. Now we can cd into the folder yay and enter make pkg hyphen si to install the package. And yay has been installed successfully. Let's clear the terminal again. And now we are ready to install Hyperland with the mylinux for work dot files with yay hyphen s ml4w hyperland you can install the latest stable release and with git you can install directly from the repository including the latest commits packages to clean build just press return and return again and now the hyperland dot files will be downloaded I confirm the installation with yes. And now all the core packages that are required to run a basic hyperland will be installed plus the setup script of the mylinux for work .files. I confirm with yes. All right, installation is done. Now we have already a base Hyperland system installed. You see it here in the installation comment. You can start Hyperland already with the command Hyperland. Let's do this. Let's clear the terminal and enter Hyperland. All right, now we are already in Hyperland in a basic configuration. You see here on top that there is a notification and this notification is blinking this is a bug currently in the latest hyperland version now at the moment the hyperland configuration will be regenerated you can go over this bug by leaving hyperland once with super key m and start hyperland again and now you see it's stable and you are on Hyperland. With super key Q, you can open Kitty, the terminal. Let's change something in the configuration. We cd into the folder dot config. We cd, with cd, you can move into your home directory and now you can move into the folder config. With ls, you see that there are few folders one for hyper one for kitty let's cd into hyper and you see here the hyperland conf let's open the hyperland conf with wim hyperland conf with i we go into the insert mode and we remove that line to disable the warning on top and when I go down, I also want to change the keyboard layout. Here is the input section to DE. I confirm this with exit, leave the insert mode, colon, W, and now I should have the German keyboard layout. Let's check this with super key Q to open another terminal. And you see that the German keyboard layout is now working. Now we are ready to install the my Linux for work dot files with ml4w hyperland setup. Starts the setup of the my Linux for work dot files. I will install the packages that are required. The AUR helper is already there. The script has detected it. And now several more packages will be installed. 
this will take a while give the script the time and you know all steps of the installation are described in the my linux for work wiki with github.com slash my linux for work when you scroll down you can open the wiki here and here you have the full documentation of the my linux for work dot files okay very good installation of the packages is done and we can run the diagnosis script to check that all key commands are available and you see here the okay in front of all commands so everything should work that's why i can proceed the dot files i will install the dot files in the folder dot files in the home directory so i confirm here that the script has already detected some files that can be backed with yes i create a backup I'm running the installation in a KVM virtual machine. That's why I will install the KVM environment variables and I will install the QEMU guest agent. Here we are. SDDM display manager. At the moment, I'm in the minimal arch installation, but I want to have now a graphical login manager, a display manager. That's why I installed SDDM. And the new my Linux for work files comes with a new SDDM theme, the Sequoia theme. That's why I select yes here to have that theme for SDDM installed. The keyboard layout is currently US. I will change it to DE. A variant is not needed. That's why I select here no. And I will proceed with that keyboard setup. I'm not on a laptop. That's why I select here no. I will replace now the existing .bashrc with the new bashrc that is chipped with the my Linux for work .files. The same with Kitty and wallpapers. So I can download now the whole wallpaper repository from my GitHub, but I want to now only use the default wallpapers that are chipped with the .files. That's why I select here no. And now I'm ready to copy the prepared dot files into the target folder with yes. And that's it. All symbolic links have been created from the dot files folder into the dot config folder. And I'm ready to reboot the system now with yes. System is rebooting. I select Arch Linux. And instead of the terminal based login, I'm now in SDDM with the new theme Sequoia. And I can log in. And here we are in the My Linux for Work dot files. Yeah, and that's it the latest version of the mylinuxwork.files for Hyperland in the version 2.9.6.5. You see, you have seen, you have seen several new features and improvements. And with that, see you next time.